We've now performed 100, well, if you think of this, 1.79 million tests. That's 1,790,000 tests nationwide. And I think we're going to put up a screen here someplace that they're on queue. They're just on queue. And here it is. Uh, this is the process starting on uh, 5 March and ending right there, right about now, right? That's about it. Yesterday. So, uh, and it's going up uh, at a rapid rate. Uh, nobody has done more testing. And one of the reasons why they say, and I, I think I can say this, Deborah, very strongly, but one of the reasons that we have more cases is we've done more, more testing. If I went to some of these countries that have, in my opinion, far more people than we do that had the problem, and if we did the kind of testing proportionally that we're doing, they'd have many more cases than us. But we have more cases because we do much more testing. So when you do the testing, you have cases. Otherwise, you wouldn't know about the cases. People sit home, you don't know about it. But we have now done 1,790,000 tests nationwide. That's more than any other country in the world. Hence, we have more cases. And uh, that number is growing by nearly 125,000 people per day. Think of that one. So it's growing by 125,000 people per day. Uh, I told you about South Korea. This is a, uh, you know, vastly faster. And we also have, they say, the most accurate of tests. CVS is launching, and they've been great. Uh, two new drive-through testing sites in Atlanta, Georgia, and Providence, Rhode Island. And each location will be able to test up to 1,000 patients per day using the ultra-fast five-minute test developed by Abbott Labs. Now they're down to five-minute. They call it the ultra-fast, and it's very accurate. Abbott Labs, I want to thank them. They've been fantastic.